Hey there football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're diving into the world of Manchester United's pay structure and how it may need a serious reboot. We all know that in the elite football world, salaries are sky high, but what if there was a way to make them more performance related? Let's take a look at some of Manchester United's top earners like Marcus Rashford, Casemiro, Jadon Sancho, and Rafael Varane. These players are raking in huge salaries, but are they really giving the club their money's worth? It's been a trend for the past 11 years since Sir Alex Ferguson led the team to their last league title. Injuries, loss of form, and other factors have contributed to the underperformance of these players. And when you add questionable recruitment and deal offers into the mix, it becomes clear that Manchester United's long-term financial health may be at risk. So, what's the solution? Well, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the incoming 25% shareholder, along with his team, are conducting a structural assessment to fix United. And one glaring issue they will surely come across is the bloated wages being paid to players who are not delivering on the pitch. Let's take a closer look at some examples. Jadon Sancho, for instance, was on strike after a disagreement with manager Eric Ten Hag. He missed 26 matches and was paid a whopping £9.1 million. Similarly, Rashford, Varane, and Casemiro have all had their fair share of absences due to injury or loss of form, costing the club millions of pounds. The question that arises is whether these players should be earning what they do or even be at the club in the first place. It's clear that the pay structure, contracts, and recruitment at Manchester United need to be re-evaluated to avoid such costly situations. And it's not just the big-name players who are underperforming. Anthony, the second-highest transfer in United's history, has yet to score a goal this season. And Anthony Marshall, earning £250,000 a week, has only scored twice in seven starts. In an era of financial fair play, it's crucial for Manchester United to reassess their pay structure and ensure that salaries are more performance-related. This will not only benefit the club financially but also motivate players to give their all on the pitch. So, as Sir Jim Ratcliffe takes over control of United's football operations, we can expect some major changes to the pay structure. Let's hope these changes lead to a more successful and financially stable future for Manchester United. That's all for today's update. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Football News Center for more exciting football news. Until next time, keep cheering for your favorite teams and players. See you soon.